Hey everyone, today I'm diving deep into a topic that's both intriguing and a little unsettling. We're exploring the top 10 small towns in Madagascar, each hiding chilling secrets that might just make your skin crawl. First up, we have Ambodifotatra. This quaint town, nestled on St. Marie Island, is known for its pirate history. But locals whisper about more than just buried treasure. It's said that at night, the spirits of these pirates roam the streets, still guarding their looted riches. Next, let's travel to Anjapali. Surrounded by dense forests, this town is rumored to be the site of numerous unexplained disappearances. The thick fog that descends each evening is said to be cursed, swallowing up anything and anyone in its path. Beloni Tsiribihina is our third town. Here, the Tsiribihina River flows gently by day but holds dark secrets beneath its serene surface. Legend has it that a mysterious creature lurks in the depths, protecting an ancient sacred site from prying eyes. Moving on to Betioki, this seemingly peaceful town is notorious for its whispering woods. Locals avoid these woods, claiming that the trees themselves are alive, whispering secrets of past tragedies to those who dare to listen. In the heart of Madagascar lies Ambohima Hasoa, a town with a dark past of colonial horrors. It's said that the spirits of those wronged during colonial times still haunt the old buildings, crying out for justice. Fianarant Soa, known for its wineries, hides a more somber secret. Beneath this town, old tunnels are rumored to have been the site of forbidden rituals. Only a few dare to speak of the shadows that move in the candlelight deep underground. Next, we explore Maron Setra, where the rain never stops. It's whispered that this perpetual storm is a curse, set upon the town by a scorned sorcerer long ago, and now the rain seems to weep for the town's hidden agonies. In the coastal town of Manakara, the sea sings sad melodies. Fishermen tell tales of spirits in the water, souls of those lost to the sea, who now guide or mislead ships based on the purity of the sailors' hearts. Sambava, famous for its vanilla, has a bittersweet reputation. The scent of vanilla is strong, but on certain nights, a chilling breeze carries screams from an unknown source, mingling with the sweet aroma. Lastly, Antalaha. It's said that this town's prosperity is overshadowed by a pact made generations ago with a dark entity. To this day, every decision in Antalaha must be approved by a secretive council, feared by the people. So there you have it. Ten small towns in Madagascar, each with a story darker than the last. Would you dare to visit any of these towns? Or perhaps the real question is, would you dare to uncover their secrets? Thanks for joining me on this eerie journey. Until next time, keep wondering and wondering, but maybe, just maybe, keep a flashlight handy.